fine good afternoon to you all students hi students how are you i hope you all are fine and you all are doing well warm greetings to you all students welcome to our today's online class okay so till now i have completed till chapter 10 isn't it so today we are going to study about chapter 11 called functions okay so so last chapter i have completed but i didn't mark question answers for the chapter 10 students we have not enough time to complete the portion so please so after completion of this chapter i'll mark question answers for chapter 10 also okay so those who are having guide please study from guide okay so first all of you take your computer textbooks in your hand so what do you mean by functions okay so functions are but nothing but a smaller blocks of the program okay so functions are nothing but it is a small blocks of the program what do you mean by smaller blocks for example consider consider one example take a program a program will contains nearly 200 lines okay a program will contain nearly 200 lines okay so you are feeling very tough to study that program okay so or, or else you are feeling very tough to type that program okay so what you are going to do means so you are splitting that 200 lines program into a 10 10 lines okay based on your wish you are splitting that 200 lines program into a 10 10 lines okay so totally how many uh, that uh, blocks will be there first consider first 10 line as a one block then next 10 line as a next block similarly how many blocks you will get totally you will get nearly 20 blocks isn't it so each that 10 lines will be dependent on one another isn't it so same concept only here also a large program is there that large program you are going to split into a smaller smaller sub program understood so that smaller sub programs we are called as a functions understood that means the first 10 lines is one function then second 10 line is another one function understood so each that sub programs we are calling as a what functions okay so this each functions will have certain tasks for example first 10 lines is used to add two numbers the next 10 lines is used to uh, subtract 10 numbers likewise each functions will have some separate tasks okay so what's the main use of this function means using this function you can reduce the size of the program okay what do you mean by size what do you mean by size for example 200 lines of a program means so it will took nearly nearly 200 lines or uh, so size will become 200 lines the same 200 lines you are reducing into 20 20 lines so, uh, that is means first 20 lines become first block so the 200 lines is reduced into first 20 line okay so like with the size of the program will get reduced okay and also using this concept you can easily understand so if you are going to study one paragraph question means so you are for example you are going to study one paragraph question that paragraph will contain nearly 100 lines okay so you are feeling very tough to study that 100 lines so what you will do means first you are going to split as a smaller smaller paragraph so first paragraph will contain 10 lines next paragraph will contain 10 lines similarly each whole paragraph you have divided into 10 10 lines and you are making a whole paragraph okay so like we say you are splitting no that one if you are splitting like that means it will reduce the stress for you so easily you can able to understand easily you can able to study same thing here also by using that function you can able to reduce the size and complexity of the program okay so by using that concept it is very easy to test and check for errors okay so 200 lines of program is there means it is very tough task to type and you need to find where where the, where the error is there like at all okay but it was splitting into a blocks it is very easy to very easy to check the errors understand okay so this kind of functions are available by default also okay while you are installing software itself this kind of functions will be available okay so that types of functions we are called as built in functions okay so totally there are two types of functions are there built in function as well as user defined function okay so built in function means already pre defined that means once you are installing the software itself particular functions will be pre defined so that we are called as a built in functions or default okay so that built in functions you can't able to make any changes or modify any changes 
Understood? Next one is user defined function. Okay, name it's having user defined. So who is creating the function there? User. A particular user is based on that user which the user is creating function. That one we are called as which function? User defined function. Understood? Okay. So next one is that that's a two type of functions they have written. So functions that is already predefined once you are installing the software itself already predefined inside the software that is called which function built-in that is c++ now we are studying while you are installing c++ itself that standard library will contain lot of function that is called which function built-in function okay user defined function means a particular function is created by users understood okay so what's the need for function why we are using the function okay so already said using the function you can able to reduce the size as well as complexity of the program okay so the pro main program they have divided into a small small sub programs okay how we are you going to access the sub program means by calling the standard library okay that means you are you have written nearly 20 or 30 sub programs you are now you are going to access that sub programs using using some functions okay so for the first function need for function is the first concept is divide and conquer okay what do you mean by divide and conquer okay name itself having dividing and conquering okay so what's the concept of divide and co conquer means same example 200 lines you are splitting into a 10 10 lines or 20 20 lines to so 10 paragraph likewise 200 lines of a program you are splitting in a smaller smaller blocks okay so complicated programs are you are dividing into a smaller sub programs called what functions okay so that is called divide and conquer okay so using this divide and conquer a programmer can easily the programmer can find whether whether which place the other error will be there okay so no need to check all the things individually so no need to check the full program again uh, uh, that full program can be 200 lines so that full program no need to check again and again so instead of that you can able to find which module the error will be there okay so same program the different many programmers can be able to work for example consider one project okay the project will contain nearly five modules that means AI is in the entire project they have divided into five modules. So first module is will work with first person. Second module will be worked on by second person. Similarly, fifth like with five modules are worked by five different persons. That only here also they are giving many programmers can work on different. Understood? Okay, this, this is the concept for divide and conquer. Okay, so next method is reusability. Okay, so what's the meaning of reuse? The name is reusability. Again and again, you are going to use. Okay, so likewise, if you are splitting the program, the same number of lines you need to use the some other places also. Okay, you are going to use the same number of lines in some other places also. At that time, you no need to write the same lines again and again. Okay, so what you need to do means you should simply call the function. So for, for example, you are dividing the program into a 20 modules. Each module will have some function names or module names. Okay, so in which place you need that name, that place, which, which place you need that functions, that place you are going to call the name of the module or call the name of the function. Understood? So that is called reusability. Okay, so same code you are going to eliminating the same steps as repeated again and again to eliminating that one you are going to call the function okay so multiple time the same input that means same lines you are going to use multiple number of lines that is called what reusability understood yes so next one is types of functions okay so already you have studied about two types of functions what are they predefined or built-in function or user defined function Okay, so what do you mean by predefined? Already I said, okay, so each function will have certain task. For example, you have written one program for adding two numbers means what's the task of the program? The program will add two numbers. Okay, so if you are writing some program for adding 15 numbers means what's the task of the program? The program will add 15 numbers, isn't it? Likewise, each and every functions will have separate functions. Okay, already separate task, each and every function will have separate, separate task, that is predefined. 
already once you are installing the software itself already predefined okay so based on your which which place the particular function is needed that place you can able to use the function okay so all these predefined functions are grouped in a header file understood so already we have studied about the header files which header file hash include io stream and hash include conio down h isn't it also you saw hash include io stream all the input and output things will be coming under which header file hash include io stream and set w of such like manipulators will come under conio dot h this and all predefined okay so likewise lot of functions are lot of modules will be there all these modules are functions are predefined and they have grouped together into a one header file understood what do you mean by predefined function okay so such a predefined functions we are calling other name as built in function important question okay but one more question what's other name of predefined function okay so what's other name of predefined function built in functions okay so this is predefined so next one is user defined function okay so this is already functions is there so based on your wish you are going to call the header file and using the function okay next one is user defined means name itself having user defined okay name itself having user defined okay so the based on the user wish the this program will allow or give a, this program will give a chance to the user to define their own functions also okay so already predefined means already they have predefined and written inside the header file but user defined means based on the user needs they have described based on the user needs their user requirement they are grouping into a one module or they are going to write their functions as per their wish so that type of functions are called which type function user defined function understood okay so so next one is c++ header files and built in functions okay next you are going to study about each header files and under the header file how many types of functions are there okay so what do you mean by header file so the header file will contain lot of function definitions okay or library what do you mean by library normally so library will contain collection of lot of books so you can refer lot of things from the library like similarly header file will also provide lot of function definitions like a library they to provide lot of function definitions okay based on your wish you can able to use the function definitions from the library or from the header file okay so how you are going to identify the header file means each header file is identified by their extension .h understood so each header file is identified by the extension dot h so already we have studied you know hashing dot stream dot h conio dot h likewise each and every header file is identified by the extension dot h okay but so each and every header file will contain lot of functions understood each and every header file will contain lot of functions understood for example they are telling so stdio dot h that is this header file contain predefined standard input output functions okay so what's the use of stdio dot h standard input output okay so what are the inputs you are giving to the computer and what are the inputs you are outputs you are getting from the program all the inputs and outputs standard inputs and outputs are coming under which header file stdio dot h that is a standard input and output functions understood so uh, listen so what's the use of standard input and stdio dot h what's the full form for stdio dot h standard input output okay so some of the functions are defined under stdio dot this is very very important this chapter functions and what are the functions will be coming under each heading is very very important okay so what are the predefined functions will be available under stdio dot h means this one get character of put character of gets of puts of okay so what are the functions will be coming under this stdio dot h get care of then put care of gets of puts of okay all the input and output operations will be coming under which header file stdio dot h understood okay so first one is listen get care of and put care of functions okay so this is all predefined that is already defined once you are installing the software itself already it was defined okay, already 
you were the already you have defined once you are installing the software itself already it is installed that is already defined inside the software itself okay so this get care of put care of gates of this and all already predefined functions okay so what's the use of this get care of function means it is used to get single character from the keyboard okay for example how you will time you will type one one character by one time first character you will type first time second character each character you will type alternatively isn't it so what are the characters you are typing from the keyboard each time it will get a input from the keyboard get get care of okay so what's the use of get care of it is mainly used to get the input from the keyboard as a single character that is very very important first you will type for example you are going to type a word computer or which one we will type at the first c so you will get the input okay see second time o that's the second input likewise each character it will get one by one from the keyboard okay so and similarly put character is used to display the thing what are the things you are getting input by using get character so all the things is displayed using which one put character understood okay so listen so now you are going to write a program studying you are going to write a c++ program to accept a character and display it <coughs> okay so you are going to write a program to accept a character and display it okay that means you are going to getting a character as a input from the keyboard and also you are going to display the same character as a output okay listen so what's the first step first step is you should write header file what's the header file hash include i stream then what's the second line std io dot it very listen carefully okay here why you are including the header file std io dot because you are using some standard input operations that is get character of see in the program you are using get character and put character okay so yeah based on your wish if you need to use this one get character of put character this kind of things if you need to use inside the program me you should use which one that header file <coughs> So if you are including this header file means what's the meaning means already all the things are predefined inside this header file. Understood? Okay. So you are including which header file you need to include now? You are going to use get character or put character. So which one you need to include? Hash include io that is cd io dot catch. Understood? Okay. Then what's the third line using namespace std? Then you will write main of function. Okay. So inside the main of function listen you are going to type a character. okay so see out you they are going to display see out type a character okay so here your user is typing for example a b or c any letter particular user is typing any one character from the keyboard okay so which character is typed by the user so that character is get as a input and understood so which character the user is typing from the keyboard so that character is getting as a input from the user by using which function get character of understood what's the use of get character of get character of mainly used to get input from the keyboard okay as a single character so for that you are declaring a variable character understand for that you are declaring a variable character okay so declare a variable character and you are giving or assigning a variable ch okay why you are declaring character because you are going to get the character as a input okay so you are declaring a variable ch of data type char understood okay so which function is used uh, you need to define to get the character from the keyboard get character of understood so now you have typed the character from the keyboard you are also getting input from the keyboard so now you need to display you are going to display the particular character to the user okay so again you are writing in the c out the ended character is okay the ended character is okay so again so you are in giving input to the character in which function get character of and you are storing the result in which variable ch okay so which function is used to display the particular character put character of okay so which function is used to display the particular character put character so put character of which variable you need to call ch understood already you have getting the character from the user by using the variable ch using the function get character so then now the result is so particular user is uh, typing the word that is stored in the variable ch so same word you need to display to the user so which variable you need to call ch so which function put character of ch so what output you will get see get character of me 
so we will find co2 o which line you have typed at the first type a character okay so now you are typing the character as a t so what you will get is output now the ended character so the particular user is typing the character t the character t is getting by the function get care of okay next okay so next the entered character is what character you are entering here that character is entered at the ended character is t okay so that you will get a self understood okay. so next one is get some function and put some function okay so get character put character this get some and put some has the same meaning only but what's the difference mean get character means it will used to it is only used to accept a single character from the keyboard okay only it is used to accept a single character from the keyboard okay but get some and put some function is mainly used to read a string from the keyboard what do you mean by string what's the difference between character and string what's the difference between character and string character means a b c d this and all we are call as a character okay but string means for example a word computer that we are calling as a what string understood the difference between character and string okay so what's the use of this get some function means it will read a string from the input device okay for example you are giving a word computer c o m so it will read every string or a character sorry word or a string from the keyboard or input and it will store by the particular variable <coughs> okay so get character and put character mean it will accept only a character or only a alphabet alone but gets and puts of function is mainly used to accept a string from the input device and you it will display the same thing as a output understood first you will you are going to enter a word that is stored in a variable then that variable the result is stored and you will that from that variable you are getting you are giving to output to that okay listen so listen the program so hash include i what's the first line for the what's the first cutoff file you need to use hash include i stream okay so what's the second line hash include std i would dot why here you are going to use a functions get some fan puts off so get soft puts off this function when linda or come under which header file std i would dot okay so what's the third line using namespace std then last one is a main of function okay so inside that listen so here strings means collection of characters okay so before you are going to enter a string you are going to declare a variable understood before you are going to display a string you are going to display a variable okay what's the name of the variable means this one character str of 50 okay so what's the name of the variable means str so what's the name of the variable here str so what's the meaning of this one 50 means you can able to store 50 words in this character str okay so you can able to store 50 words in the variable str understood what do you mean by str on this one what's the meaning so you are declaring a variable str of data type which one character next thing you are going to store 50 words or 50 letters in the variable str that's the meaning this one okay so inside the output see out you are giving enter a string so here you are going to enter a string so now already what string you are entering it is stored in the variable str isn't it so now you need to call which one which variable str of okay so to get the input as a string which function you need to use get soft understood which function you need to use get soft okay so get soft now you are storing the string in the variable str so get soft str understood okay so next already you have ended a string now you need to all new need to display the ended string so in see out you are giving you are entered you entered is what string you are ended as a input that string you are going to display okay so so what's the function you need to display a string so what's the function you are going to display a string put some okay so put some str understand to get a string from the input device get some str to display output which one put some str okay at last line you are giving return of zero understood okay <coughs> so here you are giving enter a string so here they have entered a string as a computer science okay see last line your enter string so computer science string is getting by the function get str of and after that enter string is stored in the variable str now you are displaying displaying which one puts of str so computer science 
Understood? Okay. So next header file is uh, understood about the header file stdio oh, sorry stdio.h okay so what's the use of stdio.h standard input what are the standard input on with this and very very important questions what are standard input and output operations will be there get character put character then get off and put off okay so next header file is c type.h <coughs> so until now we are studying about input output functions okay so now we are going to study about character functions okay so all the character functions will be coming under which variable c type dot h which header file all the character c type dot h okay so here you are going to perform lot of operations on characters not numbers you are going to perform lot of operations on which one characters okay so here are lot of character functions are available in c++ okay so if you need to include some character function means you should include which one c type dot h understood okay so among that which is the first header file means is all num what's the first header file sorry what's the first function is all num so what's the use of is all num mean so this function is mainly used to check whether your ended character is alphanumeric or not what do you mean by alphanumeric either it is alphabet or numbers you are entering some characters so you are going to check whether ended character is alphabets or not or numbers okay so if it is alphabet or numbers means you will get an answer as a 1 otherwise you will get as an answer as a 0 okay so understood you it will mainly used to check whether the given number is alpha numeric that is alphabets or numbers or not so if it is a alphabet or number means it will get the output as a 1 otherwise you will get output as 0 understood okay so what's the general form means so listen in listen carefully in is all num of car c okay this is a general format okay that means first you need to give the data type then function name what's the function name is all num then inside you are going to declare okay so if example they have given c int r equal to is all num of 5 so you are declared which variable 5 okay next one see what is all num of a so this one is belongs to number so you will get its answer as a 1 so here it is belongs to a character yeah so you will get its answer 1 so alpha numeric means whether it will check whether <coughs> entered character is alphabets or number so it's a number it's alphabet no problem same thing listen so here can see equal to some symbol dollar sign they are giving okay then you are going to check with a variable in the n equal to is all num of c so now this dollar symbol is stored in the variable c so now i am going to check whether the given ended character is alpha alpha numeric or not so whether it is alpha numeric no alpha numeric means which one either it should be alphabets or numbers but this is not an alphabet or not a number but it's a symbol so you will get output as zero understood what's the meaning of alpha numeric okay <coughs> next we are going to study one program for alpha numeric what's the first header file hash include io stream normal then okay next you are going to use function gets of function and puts of function so if you need to use gets of and puts of means which header file you need to include stdio.h okay. next you are going to <coughs> check the program to check write a program to check whether given number is alphabetic or not okay so for that you need to include which header file alpha numeric means which header file c type.h understood okay so next one is using namespace std <coughs> next one is main of function okay so inside you have defined one variable called character ch what's the name of the variable ch okay again you are defining a variable called r so ch is of data type which one r sorry ch is of data type what character that's a characters then r so r is of data type which one <coughs> integer this one of a character and r is of integer number next you are in c out type a character so here we are going to type one character okay so listen next one so you have typed one character next you are going to check whether the character is alpha numeric so what's the function used to get input from the input device get character so you are calling which function get character and storing the variable storing the result in variable ch next now next what's the fun what's the function name to check whether alpha numeric or not <coughs> is all num so that function is assigned to the variable r so r equal to is all num of what's the variable name where you have ended the character ch so is all num of ch okay 
So now the return value is all now. So what your output you will get? First you listen what output you will get? Type a character. So there the user is typing the characters A. So return value is. So is alpha number with the entire character is alphabet. Yeah. Alphabet means you will get as an answer 1. Next listen the particular user is typing a symbol question mark. Whether it is an alphabet or number? No. So you will get as an answer as 0. Understood? Okay. So to adapt to this here now. So what are the portions you have studied? What do you mean by functions? What's the types of functions? And header file, iostdio.k can see type only one topic. This is all very very important things. After completion of this session, please type, study and write all these programs in your computer notebook. Thank you students. Remain you can continue next class. Thank you.